Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and we are back for part 6 of Bendy and the Dark Revival. As always, we're going to dive straight back in and continue our adventure as we just got to chapter 5, so sit back, relax, and let's dive back into the studio for another episode of Bendy and the Dark Revival. Alright, so this is where we left off guys, chapter 5, we're on the train with Wilson and we have to stand up to continue, so let's do just that. Wilson says he's doing this for his father, so let's see if he's being true. Look at him, just sat there smugly, smiling. I still haven't forgiven you for what you've done to Bendy and that little Bendy that you just created from your briefcase from Yink. And for being creep the whole time. Oh, we've got our pipe over here, we'll take that. Here we go. Stay close. This place isn't as safe as it once was. It's not as safe as it once was. Signal towers and nearby abilities have been disabled. What? Oh look, we've got one of the uh, crazy keepers here as well. Hello. You're very, very weird looking. Look at that thing. Alright. Can't seem to damage this thing anyway, look. You can just wail on it, it doesn't do anything. Alright, fair play, we've met our match. We'll move on. Shut up, you're not gonna do anything. We're under Wilson's protection. Okay, so let's say goodbye to this douchebag and go into here. Gotta bust the lock off the door. Anything in this? Nope, nothing. We wanna look out for that last memory as we go through this place and try and find that because I think we might get something if we do. What's this? Old Track 77 is a quiet place these days. Ever since that terrible crash a few years back, people don't like to hang around. Too many strange things keep happening on this platform. Last week, one of the railmen told me that they'd had reports of some train going through that wasn't on schedule. There were figures standing in the cars, staring through the windows. But it never stopped to let no one off, just kept on going straight through. Some say it was the Silver Lane Express, the train that crashed. And that one's from Kitty Thompson. So it seems like we've got a ghost train on our hands, guys, which does correlate with the reports we've heard of ghosts in this particular area. Right, we've got to head down this hallway next then. What the heck is this? Look, he's pinned up the lost one. This crazy keeper. He's uh, interrogating him for some reason. Sorry, guy, I can't really help you. I'm going to have to move on. Keep checking everywhere. Got a shortcut here if we need one. And a shortcut here if we need one. Oh, have we been here actually? I don't think we have. Might get some loot. Ah, yeah, look, a Joey Drew book. Let's get that. There we go. Another elusive Joey Drew book. Okay, there's nothing else here. Let's keep going. Here's Wilson. Hey, Wilson, how's it going? The demon's evil continues to spread. This world has begun to shut I feel like it's his evil. Oh, it's talking to us. Be quiet. What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Yeah, I feel like Wilson could be lying. You know, he has tricked us many times before. The subject will stand in the designated location! Shut up, I will stand where I like. You don't tell me what to do. I think we've got to stand here, but I want to have a check around first, you know? Ooh, the Tommy gun! Look at that, guys! It's Alice Angel's Tommy gun, and the axe! Very nice. Is there anything else we can do in here? Don't think so. Look at these giant pylons. Okay, we haven't got our powers currently, so we're just going to have to stand here. Oh, we've been captured. Lethal object detected. The subject will submit all weapons for further screening. No, Disarm I don't want to. Now. Oh, great. So we've got to place our pipe down here, along with the axe and the Tommy gun. We're going to be defenseless. We haven't got our powers. We haven't got, like, the gem pipe anymore. Alright. Rounds two, I guess, then. The 
is cleared for entry. All right, can I take the pipe? Nope, I've got to leave it there. Great. Wilson, the man who killed the ink demon. Did you though, or did you just corrupt him? To the civilized world. Oh, this is How nice. Like it's like a mansion. Towers. They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. Look at this. A bit of a uh, ego on him if he's got that portrait up there, right? <laughs> Who's this? Hello. Oh. He kind of pushed me into her there. His character is strange. And now, my dear, if you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No. He's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form. One that was smaller, harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison. Although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. There's some nice fresh blankets all laid out for you. You'll be dreaming in no time. Wait, Wilson? Thanks, Betty. One more thing. If you needed my help, why didn't you just ask? <sighs> Would you have believed me? I still don't trust him, Come guys. Along, and no more dawdling. This way now. So this is Betty. She's like, Come along now. Into here. Thanks, Betty. Very kind of you. Oh, you're here you're quite the lady. It's so exciting finally having you with us. Now, to give you some bearings, we're currently standing in the south wing. Wilson's laboratory is downstairs. And then there's the north wing. Okay. The north wing. So the library's that way. Do we not talk about the north wing or something? Is it like forbidden? Is it like Beauty and the Beast? Off limits? The ink demon got in there a while ago, and ever since, we've had to keep the north wing locked up tight. Oh, okay. I'm afraid it's fallen into ruins by now. All those juicy, lovely books gone to waste. I kind of want to go there. Only keepers go there these days, and they'll tear you apart limb from limb if Wilson isn't with you. So, mind your distance, and you'll be just fine. I feel like we're going to have to go there, right, guys? Like, soon we're going to have to go to the North Wing and avoid all the Keepers there to do some kind of mission. Because Audrey did say that her mission here was to, like, figure things it's not out, right? I have guests to look after, especially one I can actually talk to. Almost everyone here either can't speak or they're completely mad. Yeah, you're one of them. Well, you can speak, but you seem a bit mad. A bit ditzy, that's for sure. All right. Here we are. Best room in the house. Aw, oh, thanks. You're very kind. I guess I'll just go to bed then, retire to my bedroom, right? You should see where I sleep. <laughs> but this room, oh, just perfect. I saw to every detail. Bed is clean, the bathroom is on the left. Sorry about the stains. I did try my best to get them out. That's all right, don't worry. We'll uh, be quite happy in here, thank you. You can go now. You're uh, dismissed. Go on, Betty. Off, off, off. Sounded like the King of England or something there. <laughs> really demanding. Did you have any questions? Nope. Is it always night here? It's always dark, if that's what you mean. For as long as I can remember. Are you very old? No. As far as I understand it, I'm something quite new. Although... I didn't turn out the way I was supposed to. One in a long line of failed experiments. You seem fine to me. Wilson will keep trying. And do you trust Wilson? <sighs> this is the realm of the Ink Demon. The shadow hangs over us all. I don't trust anyone. But 
Wilson takes care of me, keeps me safe. He once said I remind him of something he called his mother. Tell me, is that a good thing, where you two are from? I'm not sure. I don't think I ever had one. Well, no matter. Now, I, I was told to make sure you get some sleep once you got here. So get nice and comfy and relax. Okay, that sounds I nice. I something on the table that might just help you nod off. Maybe we can take a it's bath. It's my own recipe. Works very fast. Just follow the instructions. Carefully. Thanks, Betty. Of course. If you need anything else, I'll come straight away. I'm always up. Betty is very kind, you know, she's a very sweet lady. And, uh, yeah, also born from the ink machine, much like we are. So, we've got something in common there. What's this? Easy instructions. Pinch of salt. Cocoa powder. Chamomile. Soybeans. Gilson. Mix everything in a glass and then drink exactly three sips of water. Okay. Gilson. What's a Gilson? Yeah, what is a Gilson? We've got all the other ingredients here. Oh, look, we've got a record. Aww. Some sultry sounds. What's this? Wow. That is a long story. Guys, how many pages is this thing? Okay, guys, I'm not going to read this whole thing for the video because my voice is a bit sore at the moment because I've been recording a lot. So what I'm going to do is skip through it. I'm going to show you each page for a little bit. And if you want to pause this video and then read through this, you'll be able to. Because I don't think this is like any lore. It's just kind of like a story that's been written as a bit of fun for the game. So yeah, just pause the video where you like, guys, and you can take a look at this at your leisure. I will be reading this myself when I'm not recording a video and seeing if there is anything to it. But I think it's just a storybook. But I'm just going through it for you and uh, yeah, just click pause whenever you like. We'll take screenshots and that's the end. There we go. So that's a long story. If I was to read that, it would be about 20 minutes in the video, I think. So that's the mug and the maiden. There we go. Right, guys. So what else have we got? We've got a door here. We can open this. Our bathroom. Hey, and there is Audrey in the mirror's reflection. Hey, Audrey. <laughs> Look at her jump. That's funny. Taps don't work. I guess we probably wouldn't want to use the taps as we're made of ink, right? We'd wash our hands away. Toilet roll, important. Of course. You can sit on the toilet. Hmm. Need some privacy. It's probably a bit too public for Audrey to go to the toilet in the middle of the video. Oh, did we just go to the toilet? Oh, okay. <laughs> bit strange, but never mind. Hmm, maybe we just leave. Maybe we can't do anything here. Do we just explore? I'm going to take a look around. That's all locked up. We probably shouldn't be doing this, but we haven't got any other options. There is an audio log here, though. Let's take a listen to this. The machine speaks to me, revealing its many possibilities. What I can accomplish using its power is beyond any measure. Life and death can become a thing of the past. Poverty and hunger, a distant memory. I can remake the world anew. But does the world deserve such a gift? For now, I have bigger matters at hand. A man in a black coat came asking at the front desk about the machine. Said he was from the Gent Corporation. Fortunately, the receptionist knew nothing, and he left quietly. Later, I found his name on the sign-in form. Mr. Alan Gray. That's the name we've heard before, isn't it? Alan Gray, who was the owner of a Gent company, I think. So, Wilson had big plans for the machine. He said he wants to cure world hunger and poverty. I'm not sure that that's going to happen, but he's got a twisted way of looking at things. Probably wants to rebuild the entire world by sacrificing everyone and rebirthing them inside the ink machine. Oh, we can go inside the library. Were we meant to go in here?
Chapter 7 Spatial Displacement of Unknown Elements Let us imagine a long wire stretching between two points in known time. We will call this length of time the euphonic base. From here, we can dispel all needs of societal normality and all typical understood junctions of a world we know as the present. Once the euphonic base is achieved, it creates a shared understanding that there will be a space around the wire that is not the wire itself. This space, a Cromley vacuum, could be in itself a host to many wires running in as many directions as we can perceive. Using a vessel of flow, a flux break, we can escape from our wire to another wire. This allows us to not just reveal these alternate timescapes, but command them with a larger understanding of their existence. Further still, in theory, we can bring elements of one world into another, displacing matter into a new state regardless of the current host's wire rules. The reality and function of the elements becomes a new euphonic base. So this seems to be talking about how the alternate universe of the ink machine was created. It's kind of all going over my head, it's very sciencey. But it seems like Wilson used this knowledge that he gained from Alan Gray, because well, this is a book by uh, Alan Gray, who was of course the gent sort of company owner. He used this knowledge to create his own alternate universe within the ink machine. We've got one here called Cooking for Every Day. Chapter 9, Simple Snacks. Nothing here. What about this one? Fisherman's Jeebs Fishing Guide. Section 4, Freshwater Critters. The Yellow Perch. The Gilson Fish. Oh, the Gilson Fish, this is what we needed. This is a strange little fish that is pretty hard to come by. The Gilson is not known to be easy to catch and will ignore most bait. To make matters worse, the Gilson can move very fast, making it a rare sight. In the end, I was able to snatch me up this little guy with a very clever solution. Apparently, the Gilson is sensitive to sound vibrations and will go into shock upon hearing some sweet music. So crank up the tunes and this fish will be easy to grab. Crush up the Gilson into powder and stir into water for a powerful, soothing drink. So I'm looking for a fish? There's gotta be one here somewhere. Where would a fish be in this place? Other gardens or something? That's locked. Some strange pictures on the wall of fruit. I'm gonna go this way. I never understand why people have like pictures of fruit on their wall. <laughs> Seems a bit boring and weird. Oh, we've got a piano. Oh, here's the Gilson fish, I bet. Now that's a fish. That's the little uh, book past fish. Book past is one of the creative guys on Bendy. I think he's the creative director. Hey, book past. Nice to find you in the game. Can we grab it. Ah, he's too fast. This is definitely the Gilson fish. So what we need, guys, is some kind of bait for this thing. Um, we need to find. Oh look, it's the famous picture of dogs that everyone has in their poker room. Can we play this? Maybe if it was closer. Oh yeah, it said the fish likes music. I remember now. I totally forgot that bit. If it was closer, can we move it closer? Yeah, look, we can push the piano. So push this all the way over to the fish tank, play some music, and then hopefully... We can grab it. That did it. Looks like the fish is asleep. Let's grab it then. Sorry, little fella. We're gonna crush you up. You can't get away from me, you little stinker. <clears throat> oh. Uh, hey, Betty. We're just uh, stroking the fish I, here. Uh, petting I it. I the Gilson again, didn't I? And there's some already ground up in the kitchen too. Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll bring it up to your room straight away, shall I? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Oh, and uh, maybe you could put Harold back in his tank. Sorry, Harold. I so hate the dry air. I think he hates any kind of air. He's a fish. He likes the water, right? He likes to be wet. Return to your bedroom. I'm glad that we uh, saved Harold there. Saved him from a uh, unfortunate demise. Look at the wallpaper, it's actually made of jigsaw pieces, which is interesting. Okay, so we head back to our room then. I'm going to check this room first though. I can't. Okay, I'm not going to check that room. Can we go through any of these doors, I wonder? Yeah, look, the north wing, it's all shut up. We can't go through it. And can't go into the laboratory either, but I imagine we'll go there later. The laboratory is a location that must be visited, surely, in a Bendy game. 
So we're going to head back, guys. We've solved the puzzle of the fish, the missing Gilson. So do we now have all that we need? Yes, we do. Take the cup. So we put water in first. Or ink, I should now, say. just three sips of water. Okay, one. One. I guess it's already made up for us. Two. The last one. I'm scared of what's going to happen now. But here goes Three. nothing. Bottoms up. Oh, what the heck, Alice Angel? No, we've been tricked. Was Betty Alice in disguise the whole time or something? Or was they just working together? But Alice is back. That's why she was missing from her cell in the last episode. We saw a Tommy gun at the check-in as well, didn't we? What is happening? The Mad Hatter's tea party, or the Mad Angel's tea party, I should say. Oh, it seems you're just a little overwhelmed. It's all right, honey. I understand. It's not every day one gets to bask in the glory. Angel. Just as unhinged as always, I see. To be exact, that's who I am. A sense from above. Impending perfection. What do you want? <sighs> right to the chase. I like that. The truth is, honey, you're one of a kind. And to put it bluntly, what I want is your face removed. What? Your skin peeled away like no. paper, and your insides torn out and tossed onto my table. I don't want that. Custom parts, ready for my delicious harvest. Can we not rethink and this plan? Generous sacrifice. I'll be beautiful. But for now, let's have fun. The animations let's are so good, aren't they? Blood bath later. Ooh. How about a game? Let's all play a game of riddles. Riddles? Oh, what a wonderful idea! No. No. <laughs> oh, no, I refuse. Here's the deal. Behind you is the door to freedom. But it will only be opened if you solve my little puzzle and return to your special chair. Then... I'll throw this heavenly switch here. If you get the puzzle right, you walk away. Get it wrong, you fry. What? Let's begin. That's not a very fair deal. Come on, I, I'm no good at puzzles. The odds are in your favor. So wait, this is an electric chair. That's why we're going to fry. So we're literally sat in an electric chair. We've got to sit back in it. And if we get the puzzle wrong, Alice is going to fry us in this thing. But look, guys, we've got Alice Angel back in the game. This is so cool. Her animations are amazing. Her new character model is so cool. Here she is. Great voice acting by Lauren Singer as well, I must say. So what are we going to do? We talk to these guys? The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. Okay, wait. What do you mean the fox and the bear don't sit next to each other? I feel like we need more information here. We can hide in there if we need to. I think maybe we need to head up here and have a look. See if there's... A, she says there's a puzzle to solve, didn't she? Alright, so we've got fox, bird, rabbit, bird. We can spin them. Oh, we've got bear as well. So we've got bear, rabbits, bird, fox. Wait, is this like a FNAF reference? Because we've got Foxy, Chica, Bonnie, Freddy. I reckon this is very intentional. It has to be. Otherwise, it's a miraculous coincidence. But I like it. I like that they've paid homage to FNAF in here. So we need to work out, I think, the order in which these are, right? So we do that by talking to Alice's guests down there, and then we work out the order. And then we sit in the chair and just hope we don't fry, I guess. 
Oh, we hurt ourselves. I wish we didn't have to like climb the ladder every time to get back down. All right, Alice. I'll take you up on your offer. It's time to do this. Let's speak to this guy. My friend the bear always sits next to the bird. After all, they went to school together. Okay, so bear and bird go next to one another, but fox and bear never do. The fox has always hated the bear. They never sit next to each other. Okay. The bird won't have anything to do with the rabbit, but I hear he likes to court danger by sitting next to the fox. Okay, so the bird sits next to the fox, but never the rabbit. The fox thinks the rabbit smells of elderberry. I couldn't see them sitting together. Yeah, we already knew that. The rabbit never sits with the bird, but he loves the playful company of the bear. The puppet's fox? Well, he, he wouldn't be caught dead sitting on the left. Far too pedestrian. Okay, so we know... I was looking for that. We know where the fox is going to be. It's going to be far right because we need to know where one of them sits to begin like working this out. So the fox will go far right. We've got actually a monkey there as well. So fox goes here and from there we work out the others. So it could be that the rabbit is there, the bear is there and the bird is there. I feel... Like, that might be right. I think this is right, guys. I actually think we've got it right. And I think that the woman on the end was lying when she says that the bird likes to be next to the fox. Okay, so we flip the switch. And we just hope for the best now. The electric chair is primed. Oh, man. I'm a bit nervous. I feel like we're going to die now. Because I'm awful at puzzles like this. But I've given it my best shot. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let's just go and sit down and hope that Alice doesn't kill us now. Knowing Alice, she'll kill us anyway. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Oh, here goes nothing, guys. Are we Three, right or wrong? Two, one. Oh, no. What the heck? I think we're dead. I think we got it wrong. Don't give up yet. How about another? Oh, man. What? All right. So we were wrong, unless we just switch bird and rabbit with one another. It might have just been that I believed for the wrong one of those two on the end. So it might be that it was actually the woman telling the truth, not the guy. And so we might as well just try it again like this. Round two, let's do it. Come on then, Alice. Hold on tight, honey. Here it comes. Okay. Three, two, one. Please be right, please be right. Oh, yeah, we did it. So we almost had it first time, guys. We got one wrong. Oh, man, they all fried instead, though. That's kind of sad. And Audrey sort of, like, <laughs> did that in a way. <laughs> in a, it's kind of morbid, isn't it? Because Audrey's sort of, like, Set the puzzle up so that these guys would fry. It was almost like it was her doing. Anyway, Alice is gone now. I don't know where she's hopped off to. Oh, this is opened up. We can go back. Can we get our weapons back, please? Stupid. Yes, look, we can get it back. Nobody likes a party pooper. I'm ready for you. Oh no, they're all coming to life. Ah, what the heck? You know what? Screw this. Oh, we used the electroshock. That was cool. Hadn't used that yet. So they came back to life anyway, so it's fine. We can finally upgrade our gent pipe as well now with a final schematic. Oh, no, we can't because we need extra components. Double charged gent pipe will stun keepers on impact. That would be really cool to have as well. All right, well, we're going to try and upgrade it before we finish the game. What do we want to do then? We need a fully charged gent pipe for this. So let's charge it up. Deposit battery. Charge for gent pipe. There we go. Give it a wind. Lovely job. One fully charged gent pipe. 
Okay, let's pop it into the machine. Oh, I did something. I shut down a pylon. Does that mean we'll have our abilities back? No, not yet. We must have to do more. Okay, let's head up the ladder. Oh, a linker. We can't use it though, unfortunately. Probably because the pylons are still active, but then we can fast travel from here once they're not. Right, Alice, this is what I think of you after that stupid puzzle. Be gone. See, I like this Alice. Oh. She looks wholesome, you know? Oh my god, she's got a minigun. Well, a Tommy gun. I didn't humiliate you. What the heck? Okay, run. Go, 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 go. Man, she is trying to absolutely blow us to pieces. Come on, this isn't Call of Duty. This is a bendy game. All right, run, run, run. I think we're going to have to like move from cover to cover. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. I'm running. Okay, we made it through to here. Let's eat some treats. There we go. Fully stocked. Um, guys, what do we do? Do we... Ah, oh, there's a pallet up there we could use. Let me have a look. I don't wanna go. Can I go up here? Not quite, not quite. I'll try again. Ah. She is up there, but I don't know if we can maybe make it up here. Nope, we just hurt ourselves. I think we need to be at the other side. So can I. See? You're not fast enough. Okay, do we go this way? There's a charge there. Do we need to charge up our pipe, maybe? Stop hiding. Start dying. I'm going to charge it, guys. I don't know if we need to, but I feel like maybe we need to gem pipe to be charged before we can do anything. Nice. A fully charged gem pipe. Okay, so Alice is out there with the minigun, or the Tommy gun. I keep calling it a minigun. It's not a minigun, is it? That would be far more powerful. Ah, oh, there's a ladder here, guys. I didn't even see it. It was in clear sight as well. So we head up this ladder. Where do you think you're going? And we need to get into here. So we unlock this. Alright, open the door. A little quicker, please. Okay, cool. So this is a locked door. We need to activate this. That's opened one of them. We need to do the other lock now. I think that's across the way. Also, we're sitting here. Oh, an upgrade. The dark puddles are calling. They're calling Alice, that's for sure. All right, here we go. What should we upgrade this time? Come out, come out wherever. So we have the ability to upgrade our stamina or our abilities. I think I'm going to upgrade ability full. I don't care so much about stamina. We've kind of got good stamina already. So there we are. That's two done now completely. Destroy this bendy as well. Yeah, there's got to be something with those bendies, guys, where if you destroy enough of them, you get a secret. I'm sure of it. So where do we go now? Oh, we've got something here. But we can't get to the other side of this yet. That's the door we need to get through. All right, so we probably need to get to the ladder on the other side now. Get down. That was close. Guys, the, I think the boxes have fallen down. So can we climb on the boxes and then maybe get up here? Yeah, we can. Oh no, we need to fully charge the gem pipe again though. Okay, so we have to go back down. We need to charge it up again. I might actually go and heal as well before we go up there. So charge this sucker up. Now we can get through the door. Before we do that, as I said, I'm going to go and heal. Right, let's get these treats. Tasty treats. Okay, now we go back. 
We need to go to this one and cross. Nice. And open this. I love having our abilities maxed out because they recharge so quickly now. Alright, through here. The second door. Now it should be fully unlocked. Yes, and it's opening up. There we go. Alice is really getting annoyed. She's really getting sassy out there and kind of giving it her all. Banish Alice Angel. What? How do we do that? Right, I'm going to refill our health. Okay, I think we have to go up the boxes like we did on the other side. And then we can climb up here like this and slip through here. Let's sneak. We're going to go through here. We're going to attack Alice and try and do her in. I think we have to sneak up on her though, right? Sneak up behind her. She doesn't know we're up here yet. All right, let's banish her with our power. Goodbye, Alice. Stop it was nice dying. knowing you. Oh no, she stopped us. Be lucky that we touched you. Oh. Oh, nice. Audrey gave him a slip. That was kind of a bit sneaky there, Audrey. Just slapped her off the top, gave her the back of her hand. Oh no, she's still okay. Come on. We need Allison to come and save the day now, right? This would be a perfect... Oh, yeah, Allison comes back. I've had a feeling that that was going to happen. A throwback to the original Bendy and the ink machine. Once again, Allison. Oh, yeah, that's how Alice always wanted to look. Were. That's kind of sad. That's actually kind of emotional, you know? Because she just wanted to look beautiful. But she could have been beautiful inside, you know? Not anymore, though. Why does this feel so familiar? <laughs> Are you alright, Audrey? Alice, I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to see you. And this oh, Tom's must back. be your wolf. Audrey, meet Tom. He's my protector. We might not have Boris, but my we've friend. got Tom. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. Call her Alice. just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Alison? Yay! It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it out. But only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Wilson, I almost forgot. I have to get back right away. Are you crazy? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon. For good. And I think he can help us all. I just, I just need to go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The Ink Demon won't go down without a fight. Tom and I will gather some of our friends, anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. It's going to be a battle, isn't you too, it? Allison. An epic Why battle to this? the death. So are they gone now? Look at this. We've got... Oh, we can pet him. No way. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. We can pet Tom and he doesn't even mind. He wouldn't have let Henry do that. That's for sure. He did not like Henry. But look at this. Look at his new model. His mechanical arm. Yeah, we might not have got Boris, but we have got Tom Boris, who was like the grumpier version. Look at his ear. His ear has been severed. That was really awesome though. And look at that tragic demise. Of Alice once again dying in the same way she did in the original game of course because this is like a repeating cycle isn't it so it's a never-ending cycle and always the outcome is the same even if it doesn't happen in the same location well I think actually guys this is actually a good place to end this video because I've been playing for a while now and I think even though this will probably be a slightly shorter episode it will still be like quite long it will still be at least half an hour in length and then in the next episode I'm going to try and finish the game completely but I don't want this episode to run over an hour because I'm trying to keep these episodes to be 
between like half an hour and 45 minutes if possible. So yeah, say goodbye to Allison and Tom for now, and I will be back for the final part of Bendy and the Dark Revival very soon. This episode was really, really awesome though. We saw Wilson's hideout, we met Alice Angel again and had an epic showdown with her, and of course now we're going to be taking the fight to the Ink Demon with Wilson, Allison, and Tom. I don't know if we can trust Wilson still, I have a feeling we can't, but maybe we can, uh, you know, we can use his information and knowledge and put them to good use and maybe somehow save Bendy in the process. With all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all very soon for the finale of Bendy and the Dark Revival.